So in this video, I wanna talk about nighttime eating or overeating at night, because there's actually five million people currently struggling with this right now. And I wanna emphasize that it is really important to address these behaviors if they're starting to have an impact on your life because they can lead to some quite serious consequences further down the line. This disrupts your sleep patterns, disrupts your hunger balance, so you find it very difficult to tell when you're truly hungry or truly satisfied. And it literally throws your body's natural rhythm out of whack. And I struggled with this for many, many years. I mean, I was very good throughout the day. I kept myself busy with work. I made good choices. I went to the gym. But it was like whenever I'd come home and eat dinner, the gates would open and I would eat and eat and eat and not be able to stop. And I was stuck in this pattern for years and years and years. And I want to actually share with you five ways that I found helped me to break out of this cycle of nighttime eating. And this is the reason for this video to share with you that is something you can do to break free of this cycle. Number one is so important to make sure that you're eating enough throughout the day. Now, if you're anything like me, you may try and be good throughout the day to either save calories for later on or to make up for the day before. But this is a very dangerous game to play. When you're constantly in this state of restriction, this is sending an alarming signal to your subconscious that food is scarce. So your brain will respond by sending out hunger signals in the form of cravings, urges, hunger pangs, and if left ignored, this will build and build and build and build till those feelings and those hunger pangs are so strong that it feels like the only way is to give into them, which can lead to binging and overeating later down the line. So it's very important to give yourself permission to eat regularly. So every three to four hours to show your brain, to give it that reassurance that food is no longer scarce and it doesn't have to be off limits. Number two is to start to break associations and mix up your routine because we are creatures of habit and we have routines and make associations in everything that we do, including food. So it's important to start to be aware of what your daily routine looks like and especially how you eat. So for example, if you find yourself working from home at the kitchen table and this leads to lots of boredom eating and snacking, you may wanna simply move your workstation to a separate location. Create an office space, a desk away from the kitchen. Or for example, if you tend to watch TV while you eat and this leads to a lot of mindless eating, Make mealtime special and eat at the dinner table so you can have that mindful eating, that conscious awareness of what is going on. And sometimes it will just take a small switch up in one of these routines to help keep you consciously aware in those moments. And number three is to actually look and get curious about what is really going on. So when you're overeating at night or stuck in nighttime eating, if you are to look underneath it all, what is this giving you? What purpose is food serving in those moments? And you may find that it actually has nothing to do with food. So when you feel that urge to overeat, I want you to practice pausing and just taking 10 minutes to check in with yourself and ask, what is really going on here? What do I really need? Is it craving for connection? Is it a craving for stimulation, for comfort, for peace? So before going off on autopilot, stop and check in with yourself to figure out what is it that is driving these behaviors. Number four is to start to build some toward motivation. And what I mean by that is start to focus on the things that you want rather than the things that you don't want. So rather than saying to yourself, I do not want to overeat at night anymore. Check in and say, okay, well, what do I want instead? How do I want my evenings to go? And start to actually create this in your mind. What will your new evening routine look like? What will you be doing? 
what foods would you be eating, how would you be eating, how will you be feeling or thinking, it's very important to create this mentally first because our brains work via a two-step process. Firstly, we have to mentally create something to give us that pl blueprint, which then actually guides our future physical actions. Mental creation comes first, physical action comes second. And finally, number five is my most favorite one, is to build more fun into your life. Because if you're coming home at the end of the day, looking forward to the ice cream or the cookies or the chocolate as a way of rewarding yourself or relaxing or unwinding, what are you actually missing out on? What is missing from your life? Because there's likely that food is filling a void and you may just need to make life more fun again. And again, this comes back to what you really need. What are you craving? Is it comfort? Is it joy? Is it peace? Is it fun? Is it connection? It comes back to needs. What is food trying to fill? Often has very little to do with food. It comes back to our needs and what we are craving in life. So figure out what is missing and bring more of that into your life. So there we have five ways that help me and which will hopefully help you to break free of that cycle of nighttime eating. And when we actually think about it really simply, these behaviors are a symptom of something that is going on inside. And for some people, it may be simply a case of changing or eliminating their top cue for nighttime eating or changing something in their routine that will help them to break free from the behavior. But on the other hand, there may be something much deeper going on, such as emotional blockages or limiting belief systems, which are keeping you stuck in that behavior. Now, if you'd like a little bit more help with this, please sign up to my next free workshop, which will take you through four key steps to break free from food issues without actually having to talk about food, weight, or exercise. So if you're keen to learn more about the approach that helped me and hundreds of my clients, click on the link below and sign up and please like and subscribe for more videos.